Mathematics is the science of logical patterns, and truth can be established by deduction from these patterns. And the most elegant of math's truths exists in its foundation, which is numbers. For numbers are symbols which are utilized for measuring and counting. And as Plato expounded, numbers are the highest degree of knowledge, for it is knowledge itself. But what is the opposite of mathematics and numbers? It is ignorance. Man has blinded himself with ignorance. For as Socrates said, ignorance is the root and stem of every evil. So let us strive to find knowledge and truth. For truth can be found in mathematics and numbers. Show your marvelous loving kindness by your right hand, O oh, you who save those who trust in you from those who rise up against them. Psalm 17:7. It is by the hand of God that he shows his love and kindness. For five represents God's hand and his creation of all things. For God controls all things in his hands, and he created man from the work of his hands. For the Roman numeral for five is V, which is the creative power of his hand. And the Greek numeral for five is Epsilon, which is the yearning of life from our hands, Psalms 145.16. And as Michelangelo was inspired to us in his Creazione de Adamo, you open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing, Psalms 145.16. And the word of God is in five. For the Torah was written in five. For the Hebrew word for five is Chamesh, which refers to the five books of the Torah. For the Torah are the five written books of God's people, which form the foundation of God's word. And the covenant of the Ten Commandments was written in five. For it was written with the Father's hands. When he had made an end of speaking with him on Mount Sinai, he gave Moses two tablets of a testimony, tablets of stone written with the finger of God. Exodus 31, 18. And the tabernacle was built in the semblance of five, for by the hand of God his people were delivered from Egypt. By the strength of hand the Lord brought us out of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Exodus 13, 14. And by the strength of his hands the tabernacle of the covenant was built. For the tabernacle was covered by five curtains on each side. Exodus 26, 3. And the tabernacle was built with five boards on each side. Exodus 26, 26 through 27. And the tabernacle was held up by five pillars on each side. Exodus 26, 37. And the temple was built in the semblance of five. For the cherubim was built by the breadth of five cubits on each side. 1 Kings 6, 24. And in the holy place were five basins on each side, on which the priests cleaned the Lord's offering. And in front of the basins in the temple were five tables of sacrifice on each side, on which the priests prepared the Lord's offering. 
and besides the basins of sacrifice were five lampstands of gold on each side, which the priests were to keep lit at all times. And on each table of offering in the temple were five bowls of gold on each side, in which the priests prepared the Lord's offering. Second Chronicles 4, 6-8 And all things were handed over to the Son. For as he said, All things have been handed over to me by my Father. Matthew eleven twenty seven. For the Son came in semblance of five as a high priest of the temple. For when the people were hungry, he took the five loaves and the two fish, and looking upward toward heaven, he blessed the food, and breaking the loaves, he gave them to the disciples. And the disciples gave them to the crowds. Matthew 14, 19. For from five loaves, the priests would feed 5,000 people. For five comes from the Greek word penta, which refers to the Pentecost, when Moses was handed the Ten Commandments. And Penta refers to the Pentecost, when the Spirit was handed to his people. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. And suddenly, there came from heaven a noise like a violent rushing wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. And there appeared to them tongues as of fire, disturbing themselves, and they rested on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and began to speak with other tongues, as the Spirit was giving them utterance. Acts 2, 1 through 4. So remember the power of God's righteous hand, for the hand of his judgment draws near, and his hand shall redeem his people. For as the Lord said, I am, and you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the power and coming with the clouds of heaven. Mark fourteen sixty-two.